There were once four new puppies who lived in a warm dark corner by the stove. Those puppies had been never outdoors because they were too little. They didn't know about the sky or trees or grass. They didn't even know about summer and fall or winter or spring until they were old enough to go out to the door and just to the sunny porch outside. At first, the stairs were too big for the little puppies to go down. Then one day, the stairs didn't look so big anymore. They are smaller, said one puppy. No, we are bigger, said his brothers. Then those four little puppies went flop, hop, and trample down in the stairs and into the great big one world outside. They sniffed the fresh green smell of the grass. They raced on the grass and they rolled on the grass. They turned somersaults in the grass all afternoon. Oh my, what a fine place this is, said the four little puppies. Every day, the four puppies went out to play. They pounced at copper pillars. They catch butterflies. They ran round and round after their shadows. They had so much fun that they hated to go inside. When there is nice hot chicken brought for super. Then one morning the stairs looked even smaller and were even bigger, said the puppies, and they walked down those stairs plop 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 as easy as a pie. But the four little puppies were so busy playing they, that they didn't see that the big world was changing to an until, until, until it had changed so much that they couldn't play the same games anymore. A funny little wind tickled their ears. They didn't have shadows because the sun was behind a cloud. The grass felt cool. The butterflies were gone. The caterpillars were hiding and the leaves began to turn yellow. And red. Oh dear, said the puzzled puppies. The next day, whoosh, the wind not on the petal of a rose, and swoosh, it blew the leaves off the trees. Those four puppies tried to put the petals back on the rose. They tried to put the leaves back on the trees, but they couldn't, so they started to cry. You silly babies, there's nothing to cry about, said a friendly red squirrel in the herd. When the leaves turn red and yellow and come on the trees, it means that summer is over and fall has come. Why well, you'll have some more fun than ever. And the squirrel was right. Leaves with cornflakes covered the ground. The four little puppies scruffled around the ribs and buried themselves under the leaves and kicked leaves up in the air. They had so much fun that they hated to go inside, even when there was lamb chops for supper. One morning when the puppies went out, to play, they didn't have to walk plop 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 down the stairs. They could jump down the steps two at a time. They were, are even smaller, said one puppy. No, we are even bigger, said his brothers. But they didn't see that the big world was changing to until it had so much they couldn't play the same games anymore. The water, the puddles, was as hard as glass. 
as rough wind blew their eyes back and blew the leaves clear out of the yard. Oh dear, cried the puzzled little puppies. They tried to hold on the leaves, but still they blew away faster and faster. So puppy started to cry. You silly bears, there's nothing I'm about to cry, said the friendly red squirrel. In the heat cocky tree, when there's ice on the puddles and the north wind blows it means that fall is over and winter has come you'll have some more fun there ever Oi. Sorry. and the squirrel was right for the next day when the puppies went out to play everything was white with snow every day after those four little puppies parted snow with their noses and slid down the bank and made footprints in the snow. They had so much fun that they hated to go inside even when there is great big beef bones for supper. One morning the puppies were so big they could jump down the stairs three at a time. But they didn't notice that the big world was changing to until it had changed so much that they couldn't play the same games anymore. The sunshine was warmer. It wasn't raining, but the water kept drip, drip, dripping from the trees. The snow bank was too small to slide down, and the next day there were bare brown patches off the ground with no snow at all. Oh dear, oh dear, cried the puzzled little puppies. They tried to push the snow into a pile so they could keep to play, but the snow turned to water and sank into the ground, right under their paws. So the puppies started to cry, 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 cry. Cry, 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 cry. You silly bitties, there's nothing to cry about, said the friendly red squirrel in the hickok tree. When the sun gets warmer and the milk spills snow, that means that winter's over and spring has come. You'll soon guess for yourselves what comes after spring. It's like a wheel turning round and round. And the squirrel was right. Some tiny green stalks poke up out off the ground the puppies and the stalks grew bigger all the steps at once and found leaves and flowers on every stalk that's how the big world looked when we first saw it they cried and then began to bark happily for the hot years what's coming after spring <coughs> Summer is what comes after spring, cried the first puppy. Butterflies again, the f then fall, said second puppy. Chris leaves again, then winter, said the third puppy. Nice white snow again. Then spring, said the fourth puppy. Brand new leaves again, and everything starts all over again. Every spring, all the puppies cried together. The friendly red squirrel looked down at them from the hickhocky tree. Now that you know all that, you are not puzzled with puppies anymore, he said. What are we then? asked the puppies. You are big brave dogs, he said. And you and the squirrel was right as usual. The end. Bye.